Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in today's video I'm going to film wildlife in this dirty drain using an endoscope. Let's do this. I've always wanted to show how wildlife can be found in the most unlikely places and with the help of this endoscope on a pole, this drain gives me the perfect opportunity. At first there doesn't seem to be much beneath the surface, but as I get used to holding the pole still, some small fish begin to appear out of the murky water. These are probably the most numerous fish in the UK, European minnows. They only grow to around 8cm long, but in just a few square metres of water there must be nearly a thousand of them and they don't seem at all camera shy. Minnows are omnivores and as the water in this drain runs off from nearby roads, they are probably here to feed on the organic matter that washes down with it. However, life is not so easy for these minnows and I notice a predator hiding in the mist. This is a northern pike, they can grow to more than 4 foot in length and eat mostly other fish and aquatic animals. Unfortunately, it's just out of reach of the endoscope and this is the best angle I can get of it. From above I can see what direction it swims and decide to try to follow and move about 30 foot downstream. As the endoscope dips beneath the surface I have no idea what I might see. Amazingly there are hundreds of mixed silver fish. These are all around 6 inches long and are made up of 3 different species, roach, chub and dace. The roach are easily identified by their orange eyes and fins. The broader fish, with a more stocky appearance and a darker shading to the edge of their tails and dorsal fins are chub, and the torpedo shaped fish, without any real markings, are dace. These fish have probably swam up from where the drain meets with the main river to spend the winter here in this surprisingly deep area. During the colder months, fish metabolisms really slow down and by staying here they don't have to spend any energy swimming against the current and are safer from most of the larger predators that live in the main river. As the weather and the water warms up, they will start to head into the main river channel to spawn and to spend the summer months. I can't stay in this position any longer, so the pike will have to be the one that got away. Well that's all we've got time for in today's video, I hope you've enjoyed it, if you did subscribe to the channel and also check out some of the other underwater and above water wildlife videos that are on there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.